Here's the front of the new t-shirt design. Here's the back. This taillight install is one of the easiest out there. No matter what taillights you get for your car, for your S550, this video will help you. I touch on why I got these taillights, really controversial. And then at the end of the video, make sure you check out the Karma Speed update. I'm gonna talk about how to get these shirts. I made this shirt for you. Let me know if you appreciate the quality down in the comments. This garage is making videos that I had in my head come to life and it's, it's awesome. The rear end of the S550 is awesome. It looks so good. It's just such a good looking car overall. I've really been enjoying it in the garage, on the road, walking out to the parking lot. I love this thing. The sequential taillights of them going boop, 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 boop. Like it looks high end. It looks really nice. It gets people's attention on the road. And I always get compliments on that. And I always love seeing other Mustangs on the road and seeing them throw their blink around because it's just satisfying. I'm sad to say that that's going to go because we got the ring style, halo style. I like to call them Ferrari style taillights. A lot of people don't like them. Oh, when I see this though on some Mustangs, it sets it off for me. I'm like, dude, that is the sickest mod for this car. I don't know what it is. It's just so unique. You don't usually see a mod this drastic with taillights where you change the overall shape. <laughs> to be clear on the hater side of things, you definitely got to have like a pretty put together look to pull these taillights off. I, I understand that. These taillights on a stock car. And to go with these nice Ferratas we got, I think we're going for a really, really old school, modern twist, high end look for this Mustang. This is a key component for the final look I'm going for on this car. Pop the trunk. There's four plastic nuts that are made to turn by hand. They blend in with the interior. You're gonna rotate those lefty loosey righty tighty. Pull from one side, the other side, and pull up on this plastic piece to remove the whole entire trim piece. Up in the corner, there's some plastic clips that you can use a pry tool with. I have a link in the description. There's three studs on each tail light. You're gonna take the nut off of each of them. Really, really simple. One's tucked down behind the interior piece. Peel it back a little bit and you'll be able to get to it and see it very obviously and then there is a clip for the taillight for the electrical it's really really simple and that makes it so you can pull the entire taillight out here's a view of the inside to get to that third stud as well as the plug for the wires remove the oem taillight be careful and take the rubber grommet out that seals it from water dirt and dust slide the new taillight into place as well as the rubber grommet make sure that's sealed the studs will line up. You can put everything back exactly how it came out. This is one of the easiest installs I've ever done in my entire life on cars. So do not be intimidated if you've never wrenched on a car in your life. This is for you.
you guys like how the new Karma Speed shirt looks, Karma Speed on Instagram, as well as KarmaSpeed.com to get the shirt. We have a white shirt and a black shirt. This is true to size. I'm 6'1". I'm a size large. It fits good just long enough. Not too short, not too loose, not too snug. I'm really happy with how these fit. This is just a nice casual shirt, and I hope you guys like the design. I'm really excited how the screen printing and everything came out. And without you guys' support, it would be nothing, so it means so much. I hope you guys like the video. That helps get this video out to more and more people, and we can build an awesome community and keep doing more and more and more. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're new, if you like what you saw today, and I will see you in the next video. The love has been awesome on the videos lately. Thank you so, so much.